In this video, I want to teach you how you can do the derivative trading, which is the futures trading. For example, I come up to tell you, everybody go and long Bitcoin. I'm saying go and buy Bitcoin. I already explained that in my previous video. So if I say go and short Bitcoin, I'm saying go and sell Bitcoin. I can come up to give you signals on what to buy, what to sell on the derivative space. Okay. When I want you to buy on the spots, I would specify that you should buy on spots. But if I say type of trading and I put futures trading, I'm talking about the derivative. Below your screen, you can see it's written there. So when you tap on it, you're going to see that the interface is kind of similar to what you have in the spot. Okay, this is the spot buy and spot sell. But um, the derivative has few things that are different from um, what you see on the uh, spot trading. Again, I wouldn't want you to um, bother yourself about what is happening on the right side of this screen. Those are, you know, orders and depending orders and yet to be completed orders. So you don't really need to bother yourself about it. But the right side, I know you're familiar with um, how to select or how to search for the cryptocurrency you want to trade. Just like I illustrated in the spot trading, where you see Flocky USDT, when you tap on it, it um, gives you an option to search for your preferred trading pair or what you want to trade. So for example, um, if I want us to trade Northcoin, okay, you know we bought Northcoin earlier. So if I want us to trade Northcoin and I tap and I search for Nort here, now the first one is Northcoin slash USDT on the spot. The second one is Northcoin USDT on the perpetual trade. Okay, and that is what we want to do. If you tap on the spot, it is going to take you to the spot trading place. So let's come back and search for the notes. Then we'll select the perpetual one, this one. You can see that their price is um, similar or the same thing. It's supposed to be the same thing anyway. So here, um, this is the charts. Let's go to trade because that's what I want to explain first. Where we have isolated. So I'm just going to tap on that and explain what it means. This is isolated, this is cross, and this is portfolio management. For the sake of this class, let's ignore this portfolio, sorry, portfolio margin rather. Let's ignore this one, like I said, you don't need it. We're going to be making use, or I'm going to be explaining the cross margin and the isolated margin. Before I explain this isolated margin and cross margin, what is margin? Now, if you have um, $13 in your wallet, let me sell this guy back into, into USDT so that we can use it for, let me quickly make a deposit of USDT, then we'll would continue so that I'll be able to sell this guy or I need USDT to teach you how to use the feature space. So I just added $10 to my money here and I've transferred it to the Unified trading. We were not able to sell. Let's try again because they said I couldn't sell. Yeah, they said I couldn't sell because I am not having up to 2000 North coin. So we are going to buy more so that, yes, if we buy more, we will definitely have up to 2000 and we'll be able to sell. I seriously hope so. Okay, so now let's sell. I have up to 3000 North coin so I can sell everything. Okay, good. So we're back to having our USDT. Okay, we have 23. Now, if you have a total um, capital of 23.64, like I have now, or whatever amount you have as your capital, you cannot use all of them. You can, but you shouldn't use all of them to buy um, or to enter a particular trade. Say you make an analysis and you're saying not coin will go up or whatever currency you want to trade is going up. If you are not expected to use everything that you have to purchase or to enter that trade, this is not spot trading. Okay. So you need some balance. You need um, something in your account to back up your trade in case it begins to go opposite. So if I have $23 and I want to go into a trade with $10, I want to buy Northcoin on the derivative space with $10. That $10 is 
is my margin. The money that you put into any trade under the derivative is called margin. Now, isolated margin means I am going into this trade and whatever I am using to purchase or to trade these assets is the highest amount that I want to lose. So if you, are, if you select isolated, just the way I selected isolated, and then I buy not coin with $10, it means the maximum that I am permitted or that I would lose if this trade begins to go opposite is $10. That's $10, that's my margin. So I have isolated my margin and I'm saying this is the highest that I can lose. I don't want to lose any further when I go below or when I go up to minus 10. Okay, but when you select the cross margin, yeah, you can see that it is on the cross margin. When you select the cross margin, you are saying um, I am enabling this derivative trade to use my remaining money, like my remaining assets, even when I lose ten dollars. So you can cross down to my, um, so you can have minus ten, minus fifteen, minus twenty until everything in my account is gone and that is what is called liquidation if you're using isolated margin it means you're only get, you're only going to have your um, margin um, liquidated but when you are using your cross when you're using cross margin it means you can get your whole capital liquidated everything you have under your unified um, accounts or under your usdt can gets liquidated you can lose it that is in case you start losing okay so i would advise if you are not um you know if you're not an expert or you've not been trading even though you've been trading well i usually do trades isolated because i would rather lose 100 percent than lose my whole money okay so 100 percent of your um margin would go if you are under isolated but if you're using cross margin for example I have $23 and I buy not coin with $10. If I lose $10, I will still be in the trade. If I lose $15, I will still be in the trade until I lose $23 and then they would send me an email or a notification that I have been liquidated. All my money has gone, has vanished and will never return. But if it begins to go upward, well, that is how you make money anyways. So that is the difference between isolated and the cross margin at the front of the isolated you see 5x there let me tap on that so this is your leverage and in simple term the the simplest way to understand um, leverage is that it is um, it is the rate at which your profit and your loss is going to be multiplied if you're using 25x which is the maximum for this token for cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, you can have up to 100x or even 150x. But for Notcoin here, I think the maximum is 25. So if you're using 25x, your interest or your earnings is multiplied by 25. Same thing, when it begins to fall down, your losses will also be multiplied by this 25. So if you're using 5 or 6x or 10x, it means your um, earnings or your losses are in the multiples of 10. So if you understand this, you want to use low leverage so that you don't easily get liquidated because um, the higher your leverage, the easier it becomes for um, you to liquidate your account or for your account to get liquidated. Now we are going to enter a trade and um, you would see practically what I have just explained. Before that, you can see my available balance showing 23. I've already explained what limits does and what market does in the video where I talked about spot trading. It is the same thing that is applicable here. I think I have mentioned this earlier. You are not going to be in possession of that money. They are just giving you um, a representation of uh, Bitcoin on this derivative space. It is very important that you analyze the market or you take signals from somebody who knows how to analyze the market just the way i'm going to be dropping signals for us okay to know which side the market would go because if you make any mistakes it is very easy to lose your whole money in the derivative space at the same time it is very easy to make so much money 
So we are going to be applying some rules that will help us reduce risk. And, you know, um, along the line, you can begin to uh, trade. In this class, I am only introducing you to um, analysis and um, some of the few things you need to know. If you want to be making analysis yourself, you still need further um, training, okay? But because we are going to be giving you trades here and giving you signals on what to trade, um, I might not go into teaching you how to do the trading. You can send me a, a message directly for that. I'll, you know, I'll personally coach you on how to do analysis. So let's say I want to buy Northcoin right now. Okay, the first thing is I need to decide um, how much I'm going to trade with and it is part of the principles that I'm going to share with us after this video. Okay, so right here, it is on 5x. So let's say, um, yeah, I'm going to be using 5x and I want to, um, let me say, I want to use $10. The value of 6,790 not coin is 46 0.9 USDT, but how much it is costing me to buy this on this derivative space is 9.4. So I am only using 9.4 cents to buy um, not coin, which is worth 47 USDT. And don't be confused. I already told you, you are not buying. You're not going to be in possession of this not coin. It is just going to reflect here. So let's do buy. Okay, now I didn't make any analysis. I just entered the trade to show us. So as it is right here, if it is coming down, I'm going to make, um, I'm going to be in loss. And when it is going up, I'm going to be in profit. So you can see it is reading. We are still in green. Green is profits and red is loss. 1% is giving me 0 0.17. Yeah. So that is how it keeps counting. Now, in derivative, there is what we call stop loss and take profit, which I'm always going to be giving us when I put out a signal. You can see set TP slash SL, that is take profit and stop loss. When you tap on that, it is going to ask for the price. At what price do you want to stop? Do you want to take profit? Do you want um, the market to trigger your profit and close the trade? I can say, for example, 0 0.007 or 0 0.008. When not coin goes to 0 0.008, it is 78% of my margin. And it is going to give me an equivalence of $7.3. That is how much I'm going to make in USDT. And then my ROI is 78%. If I decide not to set a stop loss, it is only going to stop when it gets to minus $9.4, which is the um, margin that I'm using. And remember, we are using isolated. Okay, so that is um, when this trade is going to cut. Everything is going to end there. But if I don't want to lose my whole margin, which is 9.4, I can say mm, I'm only going to lose $5 in this trade. So let me do... 0 0.006 okay now it is 66 percent and i'm going to lose 6.2 dollars okay we have 5.2 which is okay which is fair so when i click on confirm i have already set a limit upward and a limit downward so if it goes up towards my prediction or towards what i want the trade will automatically stop and give me profit Meanwhile, when it comes down, see the way it's coming down, when it comes down to this point, I'm going to lose $5. When it goes up to this point, I'm going to make $7. So that is um, how stop loss and take profit works. And um, if you want to close the trade at any point, if you decide that you're no longer comfortable or you don't want to go on with it again, you can just click on this close by. Okay, if you click on this, then you can either decide, do you want to close 10% of this trade, 50% of this trade, 75% or everything. If you click confirm, it is going to end the trade for you. So remember, it is close by, Don't not these two arrows. These two arrows 
is to switch your trade you see it is written reverse position i am longing not coin so if you click on this reverse i will begin to short not coin so be careful so that you don't do that it is close by that will close your trade and if you want to reverse your position you can use that anyway so um that is that about how to enter trades on the perpetual market